This is Trax FM, the beat goes on. My name is Double D. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Time on the clock, 15 minutes past five. And in the studios, I've got the guys, the gentleman behind this awesome talent show. He's going to be kickstarting tomorrow, to be exact, at Live House Kuala Lumpur at Track. Guys, welcome to the studio. Let me introduce. Ah, uh, uh, thanks. Uh, please, uh, that's Russell Curtis. Hello, hi. Hello, hi. What's up? Welcome to the studio, Russell. You're no stranger to us here at Tracks of Um. I'd like to also introduce um, Joe Ryan, who is the founder of Lifehouse. Joe, welcome to the studios. Thank you so much for having us, Double D. It's always a pleasure having you guys because the day Russell had a chat with me about Rock the House, I wanted to get involved. We at Tracks wanted to get involved. Why not? And last but not least, this beautiful lady here, Erica, who is the head of marketing and the head of band selection. For Rock the House, Erica, welcome to the studios. Uh, just one second, just your mic, you have to tilt it down. It's oh. pointing to space. Lah. No, okay, <laughs> lovely. Hi. All right, gentlemen, you guys are here to tell us all about Rock the House, which is a brand new talent show, which is going to be starting tomorrow. And uh, Russell Curtis, who is a musical extraordinaire, magician when it comes to putting music together. He can even write music impromptu in less than five hours using one of the smart devices and then uploading videos are brilliant, isn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, well, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can never put you in the face. But Russell, Russell Curtis, you are pretty much, would you say, the brainchild behind coming up with Rock the House and selling the idea to Lifehouse to host this event? Well, basically, um, those who, who know what I've done before, I've always uh, tried to champion the local scene and give bands a platform to take their music to the next level. This was actually uh, f conceptualized with Lifehouse because Lifehouse has wanted to take that stand as being the music place in town. And the only way to build a music scene or other music um, program is to champion the local musicians. Absolutely. And how did you uh, go about coming up with this whole idea? We could have had uh, random bands, but uh, why host a talent show of, this, this, uh, of such at Lifehouse itself? Well, um, thanks to the sponsors involved, uh, we managed to wrangle up a prize of 10,000 ringgit, which is money. exactly, which is a good sum that can be put into production of a single, um, a series of uh, cover videos for YouTube, you know, it's a good start for any band that wants to get out of just playing in their garage and take their music out to the public. And uh, how long did it take you to actually come up with this? When did it all start, this whole idea? When you guys sit down and brainstorm and decide to come with this? Actually, I'm very happy to say that um, f what started as uh, an idea that I had has uh, groomed into something much bigger than that with the guys from Life because they obviously know what they're doing uh, when it comes to they know their direction, they know how they want to take this and it's definitely not going to be a one-shot thing, you know, it's okay. hopefully going to be a seasonal thing. Wow. Yeah. And um, the uh, selection process that you were mentioning that all these bands, a lot of <coughs> indie bands, we had tracks back then. Uh, you hosted us at Rock of Us back then, Tracks of them Upstage. Yep. And we actually did pr provide a platform to all these local and upcoming bands, indie bands, to showcase their talent and, of course, give them airtime and tell the world, listen, these guys do exist. Now, you guys are taking it to a different level altogether. Well, I think it's uh, it's the right right where uh, right place to take it. Right, this is where it needs to go. It, you can't just open a platform and expect people to okay come perform and then what happens next, you know. Mm. With social media and the uh, the pace that things are moving at right now, it's so hard to cut through the noise. So it's either go big or go home. And we want to be that springboard for these guys. Hopefully, they will see the commitment that we put into it and actually think that you know this is worth doing and have some confidence in themselves and spend the money on production and not partying you know yes having said that you yourself have been in industry what 25 years now uh More? less i would say professionally about maybe 10 years 10 years yeah. and uh, over the years your evolution from where you were and to where you are right now you have collaborated with very much so many prominent names here in malaysia you got Ning Maizura, Jacqueline Victor, uh, Dato City, recently you did well, your own arrangement of uh, that beautiful song that went round, went viral, in, in fact. And yeah, it was, a, it was a great song, it was a great working experience, and uh, I can tell you this for a fact, and to every musician, every aspiring artist out there, this is the hardest thing that you will ever do. So you really, really need to want it, otherwise you're going to give up. Now, uh, having said all this, right, Russell, you are part of the panelists, one of the judges for this uh, show. Uh, I am, yes, I am the anchor judge for Rock the House. Really, I'm yeah. going to go, just hold that thought, but let's uh, let's talk to uh, Joe here, who is the founder of Lifehouse. Now, we pretty much in Hall of Track, you guys are the only place that actually has got live music in track. Would you agree with me, Joe? Yeah, we other places uh, do have a live band, but we focus on live entertainment. We have comedy upstairs, mm -hmm. we have live music downstairs, and we feature local bands right. from Monday all the way through to Sunday. Um, and so when Russell came with the idea, 
it was the perfect fixture to fit into our, our place. And Russell, as a musical director, was the perfect person to put it on. And the whole idea of uh, coming up with Lifehouse itself from the very start, the idea of actually having a space for us Malaysians or KLites who are visiting KL to come to a spot and enjoy local live music. It wasn't just, uh, it's not just my idea. I have Malaysian partners who are involved. But it was not just a place to come and see live acts from Malaysia because there's other places that exist. The plan is to franchise it out mm -hmm. into Singapore and other Asian cities and to have a platform for Malaysian artists to go abroad and also be sampled abroad. In Rock the House, you don't just win the competition, take the cash and go home. You get a residency at Lifehouse. So you get the opportunity for hundreds of people every single week to come and hear you perform on a regular basis, which some of these guys might not ever get a chance to do. Wow. And how has it been since the day you guys opened your doors to the public Lifehouse itself? It's today? been fantastic. It's been a great learning curve. It's been great falling in love with Malaysia. I only arrived seven months ago. So uh, apart from the local food putting on pounds around my waist. I've also managed to dance it off with the local music. And I've been educated by Russell telling me what's what and who's who in the local market. And I've seen some really great talent. Oh, he's talking about talent. He wasn't talking to you about what to eat and how to pack up. The he, he was giving me banana <laughs> leaf, nasi lemak. What are you, what are you trying to imply? Not, <laughs> nothing, Russell. I, you know, I've got, I ain't got yeah. nothing but love for you, bro. You, you want to go there? Uh, you want to uh, go there? Double D. I've, be, I've, <laughs> I've been doing the Russell Curtis diet plan for 12 weeks now. Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Russell Curtis diet plan. That man actually, uh, during Lent before Easter, he was like on a vegetarian diet. Yeah. Has anything changed? Uh, well, you uh, need to understand, fat oh. is the new black. <laughs> Double D. I like it. Alright. One pod shot coming right at me. <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know we are live national radio wrestle. Well, uh, if you just tune in, this is guys are actually here to talk to us about Rock the House, which is a local talent show which is gonna be taking place starting tomorrow for eight weeks straight. I'm gonna take a short break and come back and um, have a chat with Erica because apparently you uh, had a very big role to play in picking out the bands who audition. Let's talk about how the audition process and the entries. We'll take a short break and come back and talk about uh Russell Curtis, lah, huh? Okay, now I see it for later, lah. But for now, here's Shaolin. To be real, Tracks of M. This is Tracks of M. The beat goes on. My name is Double D, and in the studios, I got the guys from uh, Live House uh, talking to us about Rock the House, which is a talent show which is going to take place starting tomorrow. Uh, they're going to showcase and highlight local indie bands, and all these bands will be vying for ten thousand ringgit, ten large, like what Russell Curtis just mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, let's have a chat with Erica. Since I have a chat with both the gentlemen, Erica, hello, Erica. How are you doing? Hi, hi, Dabadi. How's your Saturday coming along? Uh, it's great. It's great. It's great planning for Rock the House, preparing for a big day tomorrow. I know it is. And uh, you were actually put in charge, head of band selection. Right. Now, uh, talk us through this. Let's start from the very beginning of how uh, a band could actually get themselves uh, auditioned or highlighted or be uh, registered themselves for this Rock the House and the shortlisting uh, process. Process, right. Uh, it was actually quite simple. All we did was uh, we just put up a form online and all the bands had to do was to register their name, their band, the band members, uh, send in a video of their performance, uh, whether it's from a previous performance or if they want to send us an original song or uh, even just a cover. So uh, we actually received quite a lot of uh, band that entries. Yeah, a lot of them. Uh, okay. But we've actually handpicked uh, the top 12 to go into the first round, which is happening tomorrow, uh, the fall and two following Sundays for three weeks. So there'll be four band every Sunday right now. Okay. Yeah. So every Sunday for every Sunday onwards up to the finals, there's one thousand ringgit up for grabs. So is this not the ten thousand ringgit the grand prize? No. No. Oh. Every week there there will be winners that go home with cash. That, that's really cool. That was, I'm hearing this for the first time, which means you don't get eliminated. You just, even you advance, you still get 500. Double D has 17,000 up for grabs in total. Okay. That's how much cash we're putting up. That's a, that's a lot of money for showcasing local talent. Yeah, because a lot of bands that join other competitions, they go they go all the way, they get to the end, and they go home with nothing. That's how they feel, right? Because the, only the grand prize winner gets all the cash. Mm. So why not, you know? It's like you get awarded every single uh, stage of the competition. Now, uh, uh, Erica, what was the, how did the shortlisting actually happen? Was there any criteria this band had to meet? Uh, and based on performance, um, the song choice, hence you guys have come up with these 12 final bands, these finalists. Uh, we actually have no preset criteria for it. Uh, all I did was just look at the videos and if they're great, they're true. 
uh, and a lot of these bands that are in the top 12 are really good bands that that have been around in uh, playing around in Malaysia for a long time. Uh, a few of them uh, like Kirana K uh, and uh, Maha Jeffrey as well. And there is a also an eight piece band. Seven Wait a minute. Eight piece. So they range from uh, possibly a one man band all the way up to eight piece. So you guys did put any limitations of uh, I've got to be a five piece band, Russell? No, uh, it's basically a band competition. It's open to bands. We have a very very special twist which we, are, we have yet to announce. There might be um, a soloist performing as a band. Uh, I know it, it, so many questions come up, right? You have to wait and see how that happens. But basically, the criteria was we didn't want to limit it to any kind of genre or any kind of concept. As uh, Erica said, if they were good, they're through. And okay. we did have a lot of bands to choose from. Um, a lot of bands, uh, we thank them for their submissions, but it was a lot of bands doing a lot of the same thing as well and there were a lot of them that we felt were not ready to go through to the next stage when you say the same yeah. thing you mean they're singing the same song basically the same approach you know they choose a song that they like uh, no creativity no rearrangements either still very green i would say you know but i mean kudos to them for trying i hope they they don't stop you know in fact okay. uh, we, we speak to them and tell them you know uh, you guys need to work on it a little bit more but we want it to be a competition we don't want it to be from day one, you you know who the clear winner is. That's not a competition. That's not. You know? Yeah. So It'll be one-sided. We skew towards that one particular band. and Exactly. But uh, having said this, you guys, a ball move from a solo act to an eight-piece band. And uh, how is uh, the voting press? Is this a 100% panel decision of judges? Or can your patrons who visit Lifehouse during your performance night, Joe, have a, a, a part to play? to decide who moves on to the next stage. We didn't want it to be just panelists because some of the bands might feel nervous. They might feel that perhaps they hadn't performed as much as others had and they'd be judged purely by experts in the trade like Russell. Um, what we wanted to do is also give them an opportunity through support that they have for that to feature. So it's a 50-50 split. The judges have 50% between mm. them okay. and 50% come from the patrons who can be friends, it can be family, it could just be strangers who come in. So okay. everyone has an equal opportunity, really. So, Erika, these 12 bands, any all-girl band, any special bands, uh, something not out of the norm, a submission you got, a weird performance or something <laughs> of that sort. I'm sure someone would have done something of that sort. Yeah, uh, I've actually, well, uh, not in these 12 bands. Uh, there's no all-girl bands. Uh, there's a few all-guys, which is good for me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, you never know. Double D might get excited too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. We are national radio, Russell. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding us that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've I've actually saw some really weird ones. Um, we may or may not, but we may uh, show it on uh, on our social media channels. Some of those weird ones just for fun yeah but you know so. weird doesn't necessarily mean bad yeah it's yeah? weird uh, weird is good <laughs> sometimes but i guess whether it's good or not you have to come and see for yourself double d yes yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to be there am i right am i right you're right my dear friend and we are tracks are going to be there as well throughout the whole process until that one winner who's going to walk home awesome we're happy and to have you guys thank you so much for being on board and championing this cause and uh you know we gonna take another short break and come back because russell has uh, been around the block when it comes to music performing in the night team KL, right? That's what I meant, Russell. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, I thought we were national radio. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, recently he did come up with his EP and this is one of his tracks, Russell Curtis Project, close to you, Tracks of Home. <laughs> Russell Curtis Project and that was close to you. The music video is also out on YouTube in it, huh? It is, and it has a very lovely Elizabeth Tan in it. But uh, you've got wings, right? Yeah, and I'm a little bit prettier than her. Uh, did you try to take off? I couldn't. What do you want me to take off? Uh, no, as in flight. <laughs> take flight, okay. Yes. Yeah. I. Nah, just kidding, right? Just at kidding. the moment, I don't take any flight. I stay only here, KL. Well, that's Russell Curtis, my dear friends. And these boys here from Lifehouse are also here to talk about Rock the House. <laughs> Happening tomorrow, and we at Tracks are going to be part of this, and uh, we're going to be featuring one of our personalities, our Tracks announcers as a permanent judge on the panel, right, Russell? Yes, of yes. course. And um, uh, yes, Power One, the Marco is also here already. And just to let you know, you're going to be part of this. But uh, having said this, uh, Joe, <laughs> Joe Ryan, live house itself. Um, you guys are not only um, full on live music um, establishment, 
Because on the top floor, you guys are also a comedy club.